An analysis of affordable housing. Housing expenses are the largest ones in life. If you can save on housing, you are much closer to a high quality life. A good home should be in a decent location, within a safe community, and convenient for life. Housing prices in the US and Canada have reached a point where only about 30% of the people can afford to buy a house in the current market. What is affordable housing? Housing is considered affordable if it costs less than 30% of a household's before tax income. The average home price in Canada is about 600,000 Canadian dollars, while the average home price in the US is about 450,000 US dollars. If you take into consideration the foreign exchange rate, the average housing price is pretty close for Canada and the US. It means that you need at least 120,000 Canadian dollars or 90,000 US dollars in salary to afford to buy the average house comfortably. Why is housing so expensive? When more people are coming to a city while the existing houses and new buildings are lagging, the price of houses will go up. There are also some domestic and international real estate investors who can buy a large portion of the existing house, which can also squeeze the price. In addition, due to inflation, the price of a house in a good location is expected to increase an average of 3% each year. So how can you afford housing? With an interest rate as high as more than 5%, and a higher price in the real estate market, it is not an ideal time to buy a home. You have to wait until the best opportunities appear when the price of housing is relatively lower compared to the average income. The best house price to household income ratio is about 3. This means the average house price should be around $360,000 for both the US and Canada. So, the housing price in the US is more reasonable than in Canada. The real estate market has a very long cycle. People could have three great opportunities to buy housing for a lifetime. You just have to wait. Another way to afford to buy a house is to find a partner. Either your spouse, common law partner, best friends, or relatives. You can buy it together and share the costs. You can also consider renting out some rooms to cover part of the costs. If you really can't afford to buy a house, or you don't really want to buy a house, renting is a good option to go. The benefit of renting is that you don't need to take care of so many things about maintaining a home. But you also don't get an appreciation for the value of your home. This is a trade-off between efforts and value. For renting, if you rent one bedroom outside of the city center, the average cost is about $1,400 in the US or Canada. But for large cities, like Toronto, the cost can go up to $2,000. You need at least $80,000 in salary to live comfortably with a $2,000 rent. Another way to afford to rent a house in large cities is to find a partner. Either your spouse, common law partner, best friend, or relatives. You can rent together and share the costs. So what's the minimum household income for two people to live comfortably for a $2,000 rent? That's about $60,000 after tax total annual income, which means about $40,000 pre-tax salary for both of you. If you still can't afford to rent, you may need to consider moving to a smaller city. For the average rent in Canada of $1,400, you only need about $35,000 pre-tax salary for both of you. It's a reality that many people in households in the US and Canada can't earn that much. There are still some ways to support your housing, but the quality of life may be impacted. Firstly, you may consider renting a cheaper house. You could find some housing with only half of the average rent. But the standard of living could also be cut in half. Secondly, you may consider cutting your other expenses in half, like food, transportation, utilities, etc. Our next video will be about affordable food and nutrition, which can certainly help you save more money while keeping the same quality of life. Finally, you can best utilize various free resources, like free learning, free entertainment, and other free goods and services. To the extreme, if you and your partner live in a smaller city, and both of you can cut all your expenses in half that would be another option. How much income do you need to live comfortably in the US or Canada? There is a concept of low income cutoff or LICO. In the US, the low income cutoff is about 15,000 US dollars for one person. In Canada, the amount is about 26,000 Canadian dollars for one person. For your reference, the US federal minimum wage is 7.25 US dollars per hour, which is about 15,000 US dollars in salary. But for different states, the state minimum wage could be quite different. 
The minimum wage in Canada is 15 Canadian dollars per hour, which is about 30,000 Canadian dollars in salary. When you are considered to be low income, this is where social benefits can help you support your living. There are lots of tax benefits and social assistance programs that can help you live better. For housing in Canada, the Canada Housing Benefit is a program for Canadians who are spending a large amount of their monthly income on their housing, whether they're renters or homeowners. This benefit is doled out on a provincial and territorial level, with each province having slightly different rules for who qualifies for it. Rent geared to income, or subsidized housing, is made available to make rent affordable for households. Other programs can help with housing, like emergency shelters and short-term rentals, etc. Helpseeker.org is a website that shares all the information about social support for communities in Canada. You can find all the information that you need to support a better life, like housing support and lots of other free resources. There are similar subsidized housing and public housing programs in the US. And you can check the government website for all the information. The website is www.usa.gov slash rental dash housing dash programs. However, there could be a waiting list for those housing benefits. If you really need it, you would better apply as early as possible. So you finally find your ideal home. The next important thing to do is to maintain a good home. The best way to create a comfy home is to start with a minimalist home design. A minimalist home decoration can make a home both comfy and less costly. Once you have your ideal home decoration, have organized your home, and do regular cleaning, you can best maintain a comfy home, which can bring peace, harmony, and happiness to your family. Blue Eden Project aims at providing all the best solutions and great ideas for a balanced life. So, join Blue Eden Project, achieve a better life, and build a better world. If you like what we shared with you today and you'd like to get updates about our latest videos, don't forget to like, share, comment, and follow our page for more helpful content. Thank you for watching.